It's finally here, all the Chanel hot bags, all the 90s look. Let's dive right in. We're gonna take a closer look at the collection. I think we can all agree that price-wise, it's just gone to a point where nothing is reasonable anymore. But of course, price is always relevant. So we're for sure, I will still look at pieces that I feel like are worth it from you know the price point of view today but i will mostly go from the point of view of the style whether i feel like the style is classic enough to be to have longevity so yeah i'm going more from a point of view of design and and um, functionality that type of thing because i think from the point of view of pricing it's everything is too expensive nowadays uh, not just the the classic flops everything is too expensive i mean the heart bag is so expensive and we all love it but should I get it? Should I not get it? I'm a bit torn myself. And again, I'm not going to go through each and every one of them. I'll just go through the ones that look quite interesting to me and that um, I could consider if I were to add it in my collection. This is really nice. I love the oversized chain handle with the Chanel logo encrusted in crystals. I think this is so glam. I love a good top handle, of course. Few compartments. It kind of looks like the trendy compartments. Very similar. Of course, these are seasonal bags. And for a seasonal bag, I really like this one. I think it looks classic, yet with an edge. The price is 6925 Canadian dollars. That is excluding tax. You guys are not seeing the prices on the screen, but I am following along with my phone. I just thought that you guys would see more details as I zoom into each product and it's showing more details. The Boy Chanel bag, it's still around. I quite like this color, the seasonal color and the chevron details. I think that if you're still into the boy bag, this is such a beautiful one. Um, at this point, like I said earlier, I'm not really pinpointing pieces that are necessarily worth it or whatever because nothing is worth it, like I said earlier at Chanel. It's more of a question of if you like it, you get it. So this one is in calfskin and the price is now 7225 Canadian dollars before all the taxes. This one is fun, another seasonal flap bag. Um, I think, yeah, I think this is quite fun. Again, not something that I would personally buy. It is very, very pricey at $6,775. But again, another collector's piece if you're into that kind of thing just um super colorful i love the 90s vibe let's take a look at this one which is a seasonal flap really really cute detail here on the clasp i love that they made this into a top handle plus a shoulder strap Again, I love the addition of any top handles on any bags nowadays. It's so versatile that way. It's so much easier to grab and go. Um, yeah, just a nice seasonal flap. I love the detail here on top. It has the Chanel on the grommets there and it's 6250 Again, I'm not really going to comment on whether the price is worth it at this point. I'm just really just telling you the price, what it is, since you're not seeing it on the screen. The Boy Mini. Again, the same thing, except this one is in caviar. Really cute color. Love that it comes with the shiny gold, light gold hardware. It's very, very small, but it's very cute. And... Nowadays, it's more about do you want to add a fun bag to your collection, especially if you already have quite a big collection, then this is something that you could consider at 5550 fabric canvas. Hmm, I don't know if I like this. The print is busy. It's okay to be busy, but in a way that, um, I don't know, does it look that interesting? It can be. Um... It can be someone's cup of tea, for sure. 
but I think I would pass for six thousand seven hundred dollars. I don't think it's that special. So this apparently is a new trendy CC. Everything looks more or less the same shape and everything, but the fine details are slightly different. So as you can see, there is this quilting on the CC logo. And if you look very closely, this top bar here, even all the um, D-rings here, they all have the quilted details, even the rivets here. And the top bar here with the Chanel logo is also all raised and has this quilted detail. And it's very, very pretty. I'd love that they kind of revamped or try to add a bit more interesting details to this bag. Not that it needs it to be honest, um, but of course they're going to charge you for that because this version is 8375 Again, all these prices are in Canadian dollars before taxes. So expect to add about 12 to 15 percent taxes in most cities here in Canada. This is the same version of the earlier bag but in a mini size, just a seasonal bag of um, this current collection with the same top handle um, with just a bit smaller and it's cute. It's really really cute. When it comes to seasonal bags that I would personally add, um, you know, these are kind of along the lines of these shapes and and details that I would go for. So this one is calfskin, gold hold hardware at five thousand eight hundred and twenty-five. Chanel nineteen, which we've seen in previous collection with the added chain detail in not just gold but also silver, which a lot of you loved. Um, a lot of you found it more masculine, which is, of course, a great option for if you don't love gold color. And currently, the small Chanel 19, this one is in lambskin, which I love. Mine is in lambskin, is at 6950 It did go up in price a little bit, but it's not too bad. Um, it actually went up by about $1,000 since I bought mine, so it's not too bad. Okay, this is a cute little mini flap. Again, another seasonal offering. This quilting, uh, or rather this tweed or this fabric is very interesting. They made these kind of rope details to look like the quilted details. The pearl crush detail here is very cute. Love all the uh, sort of the chain detail that is, you know, all intertwined into the ball. And yeah, I actually rather like this. It's quite cute. Another very interesting collector's piece if you're into the very eclectic and colorful bags. And this one comes at 6100 which is more or less the, the price that you would expect because the Pearl Crush is usually a little bit more pricey. We're getting into these that we're seeing a lot on the runway. These flat bags with the oversized chain. So this one is in yellow, lambskin, gold hardware. And it's cute. Actually, this one has this lacquered chain part too. So it's half half. And it's... Um, fabric lined at 5825 The size is, yeah, it's like a mini flap basically. You can still fit your large size phone in it. Very, very cute. We're going to skip over these two. We have seen it. I mean, this is the same one that we saw earlier, just in gold. And this is just another version of the 19. It's just depending on whether it's your cup of tea again. This one, they're just making the same pattern, but in leather. And this one comes at 7350 So the more elaborate, the more you're going to pay for it, of course. This size looks slightly larger. And again, I'm wanting to take a look at it because um, this is what's really what they showcase in the runway with the oversized hardware in lambskin. This one is the small size, so slightly larger than the one earlier. 
it's quite nice, the chunky look. I think I quite like it. Um, it's very trendy, I feel, for the runway. And it can be fun uh, to add as a, just one of those special fun bags in your collection. Not necessarily as a forever bag, for sure. I feel like a lot of times when I add something fun nowadays, people tend to worry that I'm not as happy with the purchase. But sometimes I add things because they're fun, not just because everything has to be forever. So this one comes at 6200 and 50 the black version which is very very sleek if you ask me i love the gold on black even the interior is gold in fact does it look like the interior is gold leather lined it looks like it is leather lined so the interior is very much like the trendy cc because the trendy cc is leather lined very robust um yeah the outside is lambskin, really, really pretty detail here. Love this. Again, this one comes at 7,200 before taxes in Canada. Moving right along, we have the maxi flap. Let's take a look at how much the maxi flap is nowadays. It's probably really, really expensive. Yes, 12650 Crazy price. But large bags are back. So if you still have your jumbos and your maxis, pull them out, wear them this season, then you'll be very, very trendy. Um, I feel like it doesn't matter if you want to be trendy or not. It really is your comfort level. But if you pull out a maxi flap nowadays, it, you're just going to look so cool. And not only are large flaps really, really trendy nowadays, but also minis and micros are still very much on trend as well. So it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. It really doesn't. Anyway, this is the white version of the purple flap that we saw earlier. Just a little close up. Nice little... Mona Lisa pocket in the back, fabric lined, lamb skin. Has a very nice retro vibe. And what do we have here? A fabric classic flap. Mm, yeah, I would probably draw the line at here because classic flaps are so pricey. Again, I know I said earlier that I'm not going to consider price too much. It's more about if you like the style or not. But I have to talk about it here because classic flops, like I said, are so pricey. This one is at 10225 for this. I think not. Um, I, I mean, really cute print and all. Of course, if it was on a seasonal bag that looks like a classic flap at a fraction of this cost, which, you know, even if it's just like 5000 it's still very expensive, right? But at least if it was on a classic flat with this print and you like this print, then you can go for it and just have it as a fun bag. But not so much when it's actual classic flat money. Don't you agree? Not so much. Okay, this is the mini version. Did we see this already? I mean, it's really the same bag as the one that we saw earlier, but just the mini version, which is super duper cute. I love that on the mini version, the chain looks even more <laughs> oversized, right? I love this little detail here, even on the chain. It looks very rustic in a way. A little um, Paris Chanel detail here as well. I thought I didn't like this bag when... When I was sort of looking through this collection at first, but the more I see it, and because I know how the runway looks like, it really does make sense. And again, you're not really going to buy this as your core collection, right? You're buying this as a fun bag if you already have a core collection. The mini size comes at 5825 and the dimension is just big enough for, as in just long enough for a large size phone. 
because most phones are about 16 centimeter in height. So, um, I mean, I'm referring to the max size iPhone. So you should be able to fit your large Pro Max phones in here. Classic flat bag in the, again, 22S pink color. Seems like they always do some sort of pink color, which really appeals to all the pink lovers. This one is very pretty. And it looks like it's maybe a bit more lavender-ish than the previous 22P version, which is a very light, true pink color. This one has a tint of lavender to my eyes when I look at this. It's very pretty. Actually, I like this pink a lot. Um, yeah, it's very, very nice. I love this. This medium sized classic flap comes at now 11,050 Canadian dollars. And just for reference, just because you guys have to do math conversion in the head, I will just do it for you. In Quebec, where you pay 15%, then it's $12,707. Let's take a look at this Chanel 22 bag. I like it on the runway, of course. Um, it's very cool, has this very cool vibe. Uh, you've got this medallion on the shoulder strap. You've got a ton of leather logo, a little detachable pouch that comes with it. You're basically buying Chanel's version's tote, basically, which they apparently are calling the Chanel 22 bag. And I wonder if they're gonna keep going with this design going forward in inches 48 by 45 that is a large size bag as we will see in the models it comes in at 7100 again all these are before taxes price this one is slightly smaller at 39 inch by 42 inches but same idea same similar vibe does come with a detachable pouch and the interior is, I wonder if it's fabric line. We can't see all the way in. And this size comes at 6,550. Let's take a look at this blue one, which is small size, shiny calf skin, 35 by 37 inches. This blue is quite nice, actually. All of them are nice. I, I actually quite like the vibe. It's very 90s, like I said. This one is the small size, so a little bit more wearable on a daily basis. And this is how it looks like on the model. Kind of this sort of everyday shoulder size. And this one comes in at 6,300 Canadian dollars. Slightly more structured than the tote bag earlier or the hobo bag earlier. I like the addition of the turn lock as a security measure, but also I just like the Chanel turn lock a lot. Does it look like it's leather line here? It's possible, but I can't really see it. This is how it looks like on the model. Oh, actually the chain looks very pretty. It has a Chanel logo there. And this one comes in at $5,700. It's lambskin. Yeah, it's it's a very pretty color. So I love the colors this season. Very, very colorful in um in a very inviting spring summer way. Okay, we can see here this one version is in lambskin. It has that oversized chain at 5,975. The small hobo. Okay, their names are not very descriptive course we already know that this one is in lamb skin gold hardware love this part which we've seen in the same version of the flat bag except this one is a zippered almost like a bucket bag in a way but it is um i guess a crossbody hobo loving all the details here yeah this line seems to be leather line it looks like just from the little bits of the picture here. I don't know if I love this one as much as the actual flat bag, but this is cool though. 
that you can detach the top handle. I wonder if you can do that with the... Huh, I wonder if you can do that with the flat bag that we saw earlier. That is a cool feature that you can detach the top handle. But you can only reuse it on the same bag because it looks like it's a proprietary, you know, kind of click into this part here. But very, very nice, 6,650. How do you guys feel about the Chanel 22 bag? Yes or no? I mean, obviously we all know it's already expensive. We're not arguing that at all. But from a point of view of the style itself, is it something that you you would like in your collection? If, you know, if it wasn't that expensive, of course, or if you can just afford it, if money was no object. How do you feel about this? I like it. I really like it. Um, you know, it sort of reminds me of how the Deauville, where it's very logo forward, it's very casual, it's very like vacation, beachy vibe. This one kind of gives me that, but more, more like city girl because it's uh, a lot of leather and it's, it's more slouchy. So it is more close to the body. Therefore it's maybe even more comfortable in a way than the Deauville. So that's how I look at it. So I quite like it. If money was no object, I'd go for it because it's really cool girl vibe. Speaking of the Deauville, we have their current season's Deauville, which apparently comes with a detachable pouch now. So this is the detachable pouch. With the leather version though, I wonder, it's probably really heavy, but anyway, it's also very pricey. <laughs> 8,225, yes, 8,225. That's a lot of money. Tweed shopping bag. Interesting. Haven't we seen that in previous collections where they just did like a net and a fabric interior? So that's just another iteration of that. Very pricey. 7875 Ay ay, very, very expensive. If you are interested in the Deauville though, and you want to pay a more reasonable price for the Deauville retail, you can go for the mixed fiber, so all fabric. Of course, now they added the pouch as well. So this one is going for 4550 These are all upon request pricing. But since this one is all over the runway let's just take a closer look at how it looks like okay pearl beaded detail with some ornamental pearls here too in between so these are kind of it makes it look like a flower um do i love this i think it love i think it looked really really pretty on the runway it makes sense on the runway but is it so special that it needs to be part of someone's collection Maybe not, uh, especially because knowing that these are upon request pricing. This one is 6100 Since it's in caviar lambskin, it must be really, really soft. It does look very nice. I like the simplicity and the details on it. And as the model is wearing it here, you can't really see, but it's right behind her. It's a good size. Definitely good enough to fit your phone vertically. This is actually a practical piece. I actually don't mind this one and for a novelty piece that is sort of like a boxy shape you know these these types of shapes tend to be more expensive I think it's actually reasonable a 6100 believe it or not <laughs> this one I remember seeing this on Instagram and I think it was like in pounds in British pounds it was like over 10,000 something crazy like that these mini evening bags they are more like an accessory, to be honest. It's not even practical at all to put anything in this type of material. The heart bag, which we all have been anticipating for this collection. The flap in front with the turn lock closure, which is so signature of Chanel. The quilting, of course, and the chain detail. We expected it from Chanel. That's their signature. 
but the shape is really nice. I know it's a zipper closure. Hopefully this roundabout is still a smooth zipping experience. We shall see <laughs> when we hopefully get to see it in person. Love the little heart detail here, the heart metal part on the zipper pull. I also like that, like I said, it's a functional front pocket. Not sure what you can really fit in here though, but for sure something like a quick um, transit pass or, you know, something quick, parking stub, that kind of thing should work. And you have the security of the turn lock, which is why I, I'm i loving and hating this bag at the same time. I hate it because I know I love it. I love it enough that I want to buy it. And therefore, you just know that everyone's going to want it and it's not going to be easy to get. Uh, at the same time, your brain's telling you, no, Amy, this bag is not that practical. Yes, it's novelty. Yes, it's cute. You might get bored of it. It's not going to be a forever bag. Yada, yada, yada. But uh, I don't know. I'm just very torn. Anyway, that heart bag that was the larger size in lambskin, 6,500. So with taxes, you're looking at 7,300. It's crazy. Anyway, moving along, we'll take a look at all the other colors later. This mini bowling bag, metallic lambskin, gold color. Again, this one is one of, one of those that was very prominent on the runway as well. I just love the details. It's the same details, the quilted CC, the top handle. This one comes at 5,700 and it's a good size. There's so many vanity cases now, so many, which is good because there are lots of options. I think with Virginie Via, since she took over, I feel like their business direction ever since has been about churning as many of the same things as possible because we love them at the end of the day that's how they make their profits um it does look cool though when you hold it as this model displays this one comes in at 5700 but it's it's a rather small size i mean it does look big on the model but it's a bit short even for a phone it possible it's possible it's possible that you can slant it um and I mentioned phones because we all are not models, right? We're not runway models. We're all regular people that wear our bags as regular people. <laughs> so we need to be able to sometimes fit our phones in it. Small vanity case. I love this top handle detail, which they've added on a number of items this season. This top handle is actually very attractive and very useful. I like that it doesn't move actually. I prefer this over the top handle that's just the leather. And I like that it's caviar, so much more robust. This vanity case, which I actually think is super functional looking at it. And again, I, I prefer this top handle detail rather than just the plain leather version at 5,975. So again, I feel like this is this is a good one. Especially a lot of us do prefer caviar for longevity. Um, but if you want the more seasonal, if you love your lambskin or even calfskin, this is a smooth calfskin, which is slightly more robust, uh, but definitely a bit more grainy than lambskin. Um, this can be cool as well. Lunchbox look here on the model. Very 90s at 5,550. Interesting. They made it into a backpack too. Do you guys like this? Shiny calfskin? 6550. It it can be really cool actually. It can be it can be a really cool bag and um, it can be practical as well. We've seen this one earlier, just this one is a slightly larger version, the small size. A little bit bigger it's quite nice five eight two five oh my gosh this one I was totally surprised at how expensive it was and I say this because this is considered a waist bag it's flat yeah it does have compartments it does have that pretty chain and all but 
for a waist bag which you know you wouldn't really wear a waist bag all that often only on occasions at 5150 i thought that was excessive with virginie they're just churning out more and more and more of the same thing in different sizes they all sort of look the same but just different you know so this is how it looks like, a little lunchbox in a cube design, 5,700. How do you guys feel about the fact that they all look the same after a while? The more options, the merrier in a way, because everyone's got their chance at grabbing what they like and at adding what's missing in their collection and not necessarily coming from a, you know, from a classic collections point of view, but more as a we're ready for the fun bags type of attitude so this for me is more like a fun bag this little wristlet for sure is more like a fun item because nobody needs a wristlet in a in a in a heart shape right um this is just this is just for the runway i i believe these are just runway pieces to be honest practically speaking unless you're a socialite you don't really need but I don't mind the Chanel 22. Um, it's definitely warming up to me. And I do also think that it can be a very versatile everyday bag if you're into this vibe. The smaller the goods are going to be very similar, just a shrunken version and a slightly different price. Although some pieces can still be very expensive, such as this one, the more novelty pieces. And of course, we still have our heart bag actually let's take a look at the heart bag shall we it's really really cute so this size as you can see will definitely not fit a phone this is more of a, an accessory it's still large enough to fit your coins your keys and your cards hopefully um this is pretty much in my opinion about the same size as the round clutch but in the shape of the heart I like that the black version does have the burgundy lining. I quite like that. And of course, I quite like all the details, the additional flap with turn lock, the back pocket, and the same design essentially, but shrunken. It's very, very expensive though. This version is, let me just double check. It looks like it's about 4,000, let me see, 4,075. So yeah, you're looking at around $4,500 with taxes. But anyway, let's uh, go from the beginning. There's not as much to look at in leather goods, like I said, because all the styles are more or less the same. It's more like the prices are gonna be different. This clutch, or rather wallet on chain, is quite nice. I really like it, actually. I like that it has this top handle, which I mentioned earlier that I really like. I like that it's kind of the more sturdy. I like that there's the logo, the chain detail. I just, yeah, I just think that it's well done. And I was never a fan of the wallet on chain, but this version, I, I, I'm open to it. As for the interior, it's pretty much the same, nothing to really report about. I just love the addition of the top handle. That's that's really what is super attractive to me for this version. It's in grain shiny calfskin, which is nice for a seasonal piece. The price is definitely up there at 4625. Wallet on chains have skyrocketed in prices as with everything, but especially with such a simple design you're essentially wearing a wallet with a chain this version is even more expensive because it's the trendy version with the raised chanel logo and the quilted details on the grommets and the cc logo so uh, this one you're looking at 4975 so just under 5000 before tax so you're looking at almost 5600 dollars very very pricey um my point of view on that is that, I mean, if you need it, you need it. If you want it, you want it. You're just going to make it work. You're just going to have to get it. But it is getting so 
overly expensive that it has to be so special like that iteration has to be so special for you to get it and same with this one so this is the same low clutch on chain same exact one that we saw earlier in the black color but just in white lambskin same exact price at 4075 and uh yeah it's it's getting quite ridiculous not gonna lie this little clutch on chain which is basically like the vanity case with the oversized chunky chain really cute very novelty size and this is how it looks like on the model 3250 this clutch on chain is a good size i think this is isn't this like the same size as the small walk? There's a walk version that is more squarish and a bit fatter. I think this is it, at least dimension wise. And for this one, you're looking at 3,800. There's this little cutie here, which I like the additional top handle feature. Um, the chain looks like it would be detachable. Is it detachable? Yeah, somehow it is detachable. How did that... Oh, because there's this little slit here. And you kind of just angle it. At the right angle, it will come off. So that's kind of ingenious and you can even attach your own chains if you have some of those chains it has the cocoa detail on top i like that they make it a bit more versatile in a way um this one comes at 3800 smaller version of the the one earlier with the top handle which i prefer the earlier version with the little top handle it just seems it just seems like it makes a bit more sense, even though the top handle will cost you a lot. But yeah, this one is quite small. And aside from the cocoa details on the chain, it's not that special. It's just another version of a micro bag. 2,975. Yes, micro bags are expensive. Um, the two ones that I have was just as expensive. Moving right along, we have this bucket bag, which was, I thought was very interesting <laughs> because if you look very closely at the bottom, by the way, love all the quilting detail in the middle. The metal work is very interesting this season. The bottom here has this clasp and it opens up to a card holder. I thought that was very, very interesting. Very, very novelty. Um, a, a very small size little bucket bag and that's how it looks like on the model so definitely um, a micro slash mini size and this one comes in at 5150 we have the pearl crush clutch on chain which is very very popular as a micro bag size this one has a gusset design, so it opens wide, but you have to be able to close it so you can't overfill it. Again, the pearl part, the pearl crush part has that really cool metal intertwined detail on it. And this one comes at 2,700. Essentially, this is really a card holder on chain because you have to be able to close it. It doesn't have that depth, really pretty purple color, which I think is such a good color for this heart bag. The arm coin purse, so darn cute, very dinky. <laughs> is it useful? Maybe not so much. It's definitely a flex though. Look at it. It's so cute on the model. Who's gonna buy this? I'm wondering. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna buy this. This one comes in at 2300. I find that this season's jewelry are on the oversized, or maybe larger size, maybe not oversized, but on the larger sides. And um, it's very 90s, of course. 
it's very forward logo wise and um, it's it's more statement for sure in a sense so that's not everyone's cup of tea not everyone's into statement pieces even the study rings are very very bold and you know the chokers logos everything is really bold in general chanel does make very beautiful designs in their costume jewelry does it mean that it's worth it no it doesn't um, so most of these pieces are going to be very very pricey so it comes down to again personal preference do you need anything like that in your collection um, nobody needs i suppose do you want anything like that in your collection do you have a void where you see yourself adding these pieces that's more like it we saw on the model that it was very oversized it comes at 760 bold design for sure it looks great on this model love the swimsuit by the way um so yeah is this your cup of tea it just boils down to that basically these ones i commented last time on the runway that i loved them that I might even try to get my hands on. I'm not so sure I would still do it, but I will say that they are very attractive. The way even the back is has all that detail is just extraordinary. Look at all the back detail here. It's just so pretty. Even the plain ones have this sort of quilting design. And pearls and Chanel are just, I mean, they just do pearl design so well. So it's very, very bold, very bold um, design, basically. I just love how it drapes on this model's face. Very, very nice. These come at 1150 If anything, these would, be, these would be earrings that I would be buying because they are indeed very special. Choker that we saw on the runway. If you like pearls and the intertwined leather detail and you like bows i think this one is a cute one definitely worth looking at comes in at 1925 i love the chunky detail and even though it's mostly chain it does have that chunkiness which is in itself a statement the charms are quite nice too and that's how it looks like on the model. Looks like she's wearing a black version of this. And surprisingly, the price is more reasonable on this one. It's $13.75. I also like this one because, again, it has pearls, it has charms, and it has a pendant. This one comes in at $1,300. I think this one is really pretty for what it is, if, especially if you like kind of a more eclectic, it looks like this on the model. It's actually a bit more subdued, but it's it stands out though because of the charm dangling and it has a lot of colors and you still have part of it that is pearls. So you, you still have a pearl detail showing on your neck. I quite like this one. Simple choker design. This one is 925. So it's mostly chain and um, just a bigger charm in front. Shoes, again, are more personal and it depends if what the style is fits you. These are very 90s forward, um, even the whole vibe of the platform and just the way these sandals are. It's very 90s. It used to be shoes that I would buy. This one looks exactly like a pair of shoes that I used to own and wore a ton back in high school. So it really just depends on if you're into the style. Um, I quite like that this one is slip-on and it still has such a cool pattern 90s vibe. But again, it's more on the trendier side because even the shape of the heel is <laughs> it's very retro. Looks great on the feet. Uh, in terms of sandals, tons of eye candy. This is just something that I would love to be able to wear, except that the heels are quite high on this one. I probably wouldn't be able to pull it off. 
not with my joint issues, but they look so darn good. This pair especially, I had a pair that was from Pekabo that looked exactly like this. So you can imagine why I am so biased towards this pair of shoes. I love the little logo in the back. So this is just the grown-up version. If I were to rebuy it, this would be what I would buy. These are also very, you know, they still have platforms so they can still be quite trendy but once the trend goes away they are still classic enough to pull in the future because there's not a ton of logos so i would go for something like this versus this even though this is super fun of course and this one has a lower heel so a little bit more manageable but yeah in terms of longevity i would just go for the black ones if you missed out on a chain belt from chanel this is something that you can consider from this collection. It's not quite as chain feeling on the actual belt. With a chain, it's more fluid. You can bend it with a leather strap. It's a bit more restricting in a way, but some people prefer leather, so it's still a cute look. So I'd say go for it if you don't have a thin chin belt, chain belt already. Uh, looks great on this model. Love this bathing suit, actually. Looks great on her. Um, this belt comes in at 1675 definitely on the pricier side, but I always, always think that Chanel belts are worth it if you find the right one. These are pretty, so this one made a comeback. I think they made this style into a classic now, which... I owned in the black version when they first introduced it in the uh, summer collection last year. Um, I did end up selling mine as well because I figured, oh my gosh, I have all these other accessories, earrings, brooches, scarves, it's just too much. But if you're really a headband person, get this one, it's a nice one. There's a lot of cool ready to wear. They're definitely more simple design, I find, ever since Virginie started um, taking over. Everything is definitely more on the simple side, very wearable. Even the more intricate pieces are super wearable, less sort of crazy design like Carl would do. It's definitely more appealing to the masses, I feel, um, from the point of view of whether you can see yourself wear these things. Like nothing is too crazy, even if you buy something that is a bit more elaborate or the material is a bit more unusual, it's still very wearable. This little tweed cotton jacket comes in at 9,300. I love the button details. I love how multicolored it is. And I feel like if you pair this with some jeans or a little skirt, black skirt, white skirt, or um, a pair of trousers. Um, because the shape is simple, it's like a cardigan jacket shape. The buttons are extraordinary, actually. I really love the buttons. Of course, Chanel buttons are always beautiful. Um, yeah, I think, I think this is a cute little staple piece. Love how she paired the little choker as well. And this bag. So this is, this is a piece that I would consider. I love the bigger trims here, very, um, very classic in a way, but just with the embroidered print that is from the current season. See how she's wearing it with some denim here? It's so easy to dress this up or dress this down. This one is definitely well done. Again, very simple oversized tweed. Um, drop shoulder. Color is very neutral. Good for all year round, even the winter. You can easily dress this down and dress this up as well. This one is definitely going to be a popular choice for a lot of people, I think love the pocket details it's not too complicated but it's yeah this is a great jacket 
comes in at 7650 This jacket is so cool. Very 90s, actually very 70s. Kind of oversized, slightly cropped. And the um, arms are oversized, but the waist is tiny. Love the buttons. Love the color as well. This yellow is very bright. Yeah, the buttons are definitely very pretty on this one. Actually, these buttons look like they're very similar to a previous season one. <laughs> this jacket, 10,775, has a great classic shape. The print can be a bit busy if you don't love these colors. But again, it's one of those jackets where you can dress up or dress down. Really cute little tweed, cute little Chanel buttons. Let's have a look at this one. I'm curious to see how it translates in person. It's definitely more trendy. Uh, I would say don't get it if if you're not into the trend. It comes in at 7725 You can even wear it open, actually, but it'll be more of a trendier piece because once the season passes, you're not going to be into it as much, but it'll just be a very special outfit in your wardrobe. This jacket, very pretty color, a little bit more classic than the version earlier just because it doesn't have all those cc's and even the shape is more um the shape looks more classic like more timeless i mean and the fabric is a little bit more simple it still has a lot of details the tweed design a bit of sequins beautiful buttons but you can wear open clothes with jeans draped on top of a dress at 8150 Again, I'm very attracted to this fabric. And um, I actually think that this dress is more timeless because it's a sheath dress. And yes, it's a bit boxy, but I don't know. I think this one is a cool little dress that you can definitely pull out every year. 5675 I actually prefer this. In fact, if I were to buy this fabric, this print, I would prefer the dress over the jacket. The cardigan that I like, except they're not showing the cardigan online for some reason, but this is what I mean. The cardigan is so cute. I love all these buttons on this cardigan. It looks like you can detach the sleeves too, which makes it a, a crop little cardigan. This is so cool, actually. The shorts I'm not interested in. I'm just really looking at the cardigan itself. So yeah, you can possibly detach the sleeves, I think. I wonder if you can even detach this part to make it more into like a black short little cardigan. It has so many Chanel buttons on it. It's so cute. I love it. It's very simple yet very effective. That's what I love about uh, Virginie's designs. They're very wearable. I love this jacket. It's very nice. Definitely a more of a timeless piece too. Um, and it's actually more reasonable than I ever thought it would be. $8,000 for this iridescent tweed. Well done, Chanel. Really cool jacket, actually. I might have to check this out. It's definitely on the oversized spectrum, like the shoulders, except that this, the, the sleeves are very short. So it depends if you're into this sort of vibe. But I quite like it, actually. Now it's making me wonder how much these other ones are. Because when it comes to their jackets, usually you can't really get away with less than 10,000 or 9,000 dollars which uh, this one is 10,400 before taxes um do i like these other ones this blue one can be 
can be quite timeless. 10,300. It's quite nice. But if we were up to me, I'd prefer the white one. And I even prefer the color of the white one. It has the same amount of pockets and the same four buttons. It's just that the lapel is, actually, no, the lapel is exactly the same cut. That's my take on this collection. I loved it, but maybe less than I thought I would. But as I always say, never judge a book by the cover. And that applies to Chanel, especially when you see the actual items, you can make a more informed decision. And even though I have not revealed anything from 22P yet, a little secret, I actually will. I'm still waiting on an item to arrive, um, but I did actually end up buying from the 22P collection. And yes, there is a bag too. So definitely stay tuned, definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. If you're new to my channel, I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to have you back. Please do subscribe. If you want to support me even further, you can become a channel member where you get more exclusive content. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.